you tell me that what's the fire risk of this house? This is rated Bell FZ, which is flame zone. Yeah. So that's the highest level. And that's because of the bushfire that comes, the bushfire element is all this bushland that we can see around us here and the steep cliff that's around the back of the property. Flame zone is determined by the, the fact that the flames, should this area be on fire, the flames could touch the house. It's that close. Yeah. And so can you point out a few of the features of the house special flames so resistant ones? On a normal house, the fascia, which is this behind the gutter, is timber. In this case, it's a fire resistant product. Mm -hmm. um, and the same with the eave, which is the horizontal part under the fascia. What's special about the screens? So the fire screens have a stainless steel fire screen mesh instead of the normal nylon mesh. Mm -hmm. And then the windows, the glass in the windows is also different. Six mil laminated glass. So these windows are a Bell 40 window and then combined with the metal shutters gives it the Bell FZ. What about the materials in the building? So the wall cladding here is a lightweight product. There's a few alternatives you can use, one being brick walls or masonry. But so to use lightweight cladding, we had to use a fire resistant board behind this cladding, which gives it the fire protection. And then this cladding is aesthetic as well as being non-combustible. So these are fire screens? They are. These metal shutters over the windows. In case of a fire, they can put these down from the inside. They're electrically operated. And this handle here is a manual override. So if the owners aren't home and the fire brigade had to come, they have the ability to wind these down manually themselves to That's protect good. the house. Do all architects get the fire requirements? I've found a few architects that do know quite a bit about it. Uh, that's not all architects, so if you're in a bushfire zone, you're best to find one that has experience because they will incorporate the requirements into the design as opposed to just wait, letting them be stuck on afterwards. Is there a huge extra cost to build to this fire level? Uh, yes, so Bell FZ, you're probably looking at about 50 grand on or more. On top of your usual um, Yeah, build. and then this is a cheaper alternative using the metal shutters with the Bell 40 window. There are flame zone windows, but they're incredibly expensive. So so by the way, I love your house. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> You've retained the trees, that doesn't concern you at all? Yeah, no, we love the trees I and mean, that's why we bought the block because it was right next to the bush. You had the design before you thought about the fire or? We did, we did. Um, we had the design before we worked through the fire rules and I think we were really lucky because we were able to find solutions on our particular design. Mark helped us sort of work through all the difficulties and issues that you come across building a house in a flame zone in particular you know they're quite difficult and so having someone there with that knowledge is well you just can't do it without that. Mummy said that you were going to go somewhere if there was a big fire where would you go? What do you do yeah. when there's a fire? We go under the net we go we go up to the letterbox. Good girl. 